Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Braves Diva, Chicks Dig the Long Ball, and Picture It Sicily. I'm a water marble. I started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone and I'm going to be using IMK's Protect Peel. Here is Braves Diva, Picture It Sicily. Gorgeous baby blue. And then Braves Diva, also Chicks Dig the Long Ball. Nice dark blue. Love these colors. So I'm just going to get it started. I'm using a regular little bathroom paper cup of uh, room temperature water. Nothing special, not filtered, no fancy water here. Um, and I'm just going to build up my bullseye one drop at a time. Now, if you've had trouble with water marbling, I just, I, I, you know, I don't, I'm not on any payroll or anything for Tara, I promise. Um, I buy all of my products from her. I've never gotten anything for free um, except for one that she replaced, but that's a different story. Her creams water marble like a dream. You see this. Look at those bullseye. Look at the rings. It's perfect. And they're all her creams are like this. I haven't had any trouble with any of them. They stay wet longer too, which when you're first learning how to water marble is key that your polish isn't drying too fast before you get a chance to draw your design in. I am doing a new design. I don't execute it very well, but um, this one I learned from Artisan Loom. I will leave a link for her channel down below. Um, I didn't execute mine very well, but I was still very happy with it because I was doing something different. Just like some little swirls. Now I've known how to do like wave swirls, but I'm, I was trying to actually get well, if you'll go check out her channel, you'll see what I was trying to get. Now, this is proof that polishes from Brave Steva don't dry too fast. These polishes are still quite wet, and they're not coming off the water as quickly onto my toothpick for cleanup as they normally do. So, you know, it, that just shows you that they do stay wet quite, quite good for you to be able to manipulate them in the water. I'm running a toothpick around the seal of this, around my cuticle area and sidewalls to break it before I pull this latex off. I have pulled up water marble bits before by not doing that step. So if you think about it, try to do that. It doesn't have to be a toothpick, it could be an orange wood stick, it could be your cleanup brush with some nail polish remover, whatever works for you. And you guys know I'm always struggling with this latex. It doesn't matter what brand I use or anything. I'm just, I'm one of those people. So there is the first one. Now I am going to speed these water marble bits up as we go on. I'm going to show the dippage of four of my fingernails today. And I know a lot of you love watching this process. So I wanted to share all of it with you, but I didn't want it to be a 30 minute video. So I have sped this up. Um, as I do with all of my videos that I do voiceovers for. Um, I just think it makes them more seamless and, you know, it just helps. So, back to this water marbling business. I am drawing in just a four petal flower design, going from the top to the middle, and when I meet them, I dip down in to make them connect and stay there, stay put. And then now you're going to start off on like the second or third ring and kind of twirl in. Um, after I did this and was editing the video, I realized that you really can't see what I'm doing. So I promised to do this one again very soon um, and try to get my camera angle line, lined up a little bit better. Now technically I was supposed to be shooting for the M's in this design. Um, when I do the next one, maybe you'll get to see what I'm talking about, but there were like a couple of M's looking and that's the, what I was really wanting to do. But you know, when I sit down and start playing, my mind just goes on autopilot and I w the swirls were calling to me. So I was, I ended up hitting for the swirls on all of these and they're so cute. So there we go. Another one. And I have removed my latex. I like to do that after each water marble dip. Um, I don't like leaving that latex on my fingers. I like to get it off. Look how these water marble. That's what I'm telling you. If you've had issues, if you've just struggled and you really want to do it, 
Tara's got all sorts of colors in these creams and so you can you could find something you'll like just pick up a couple of them and give them a try oops I'm making a mess Did y'all see that mess yeah and I'm trying to put my hand in it so there we go meeting them in the middle top to bottom and side to side with a little dip in between I love 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 playing water marble this is what got me into nail art in the first place it is water marble I have Miss Colette from my simple little pleasures to thank for that she turned me on hard y'all this was this was it this was this was my gateway into the nail polish junkie world right here water marbling so and y'all will get to see a lot more of them if I had more time maybe one day Okay, I got a bubble that I had to pop and then here we go and I do run that toothpick around the cup I've tell I think I tell you almost in every video and that's just to get the polish to spread all the way to the edge of the cup I don't like dancing and chasing around my bullseye of polish trying to draw in my design I like it to kind of be anchored to the side of the cup and here we go last drop This is like lightning fast, y'all. Look how fast I'm moving. No, not really. You guys know this this lady ain't moving fast. But I do know how to speed up a video. Okay, can you see that little M over to the to the right? There's gonna be one on the left and the right, I think. Well the the one that it looks a little blurry, but I like it. I wanna use that part of the image one time. And it is taking longer to clean up that top of that water, and it's because they're amazing water marbling polishes. There we go. Loving this. I love this manicure. I, I just, I'm just going to be straight up with you. I'm just not even going to beat around the bush. I'm just going to tell you how it is. I love this one. I am doing some serious cleanup um, with a Q-tip and some acetone because I made a mess. I always go past my latex barrier. Almost always go past where I put it I could take it up to my knuckle and I'm still gonna go past it it's just part of the game and get off camera and I also like to go up under the nail with the q-tip it fits under there pretty good now that I've got the big stuff cleaned up I'm gonna go in and fine-tune it with my cleanup brush and some acetone I do have some acetone additive in that. I always put a couple of drops in and then put a little bit of acetone in my cup. Um, I don't know that I mention it often, but I do that. That's pretty typical so that I don't end up all... You, you can tell when I don't because I look all white and ashy all around the cuticle because that acetone just gets nasty looking. So there we go. Clean, clean. Look at that. Yay! <laughs> So I am going to top this one with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. It's a quick dry top coat. And there's Woody. Hi Woody, how you doing? So there we go. And that is it to done, to die. I have a picture coming up. And so I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below. Give me your thoughts. I'd love to hear it. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.